Do you wish you could record two people using an audio interface in Riverside in person? Riverside has now made it even easier to record with in-person guests. Now you can choose from multiple inputs on your audio interface, assign it to another in-person guest, meaning you could record that high quality podcast with one interface, two microphones, all in the same room. And that makes hybrid recording even easier. Here's how to use our new in-person guest feature in Riverside. Before we jump into the Riverside Studio, let's connect our audio interface. This is the Vocaster 2, where I can connect two XLR microphones on the back. I'll use the Shure MV7 Plus as my host microphone. I'll plug it here into the first XLR port, and we'll use this Audio-Technica microphone for my guest. Now you see we're getting audio signals from both microphones in two separate channels, and this audio interface is connected to my computer. Now that that's hooked up, let's go into our Riverside Studio to record. Choose your camera, and for audio input, I'll choose the Vocaster 2. We're going to customize this once we jump into the studio. I'll also choose the Vocaster 2 as my audio output. So this way, if you wanted to hear yourselves in headphones or hear a remote guest in your headphones, plug them into that Vocaster 2 or your audio interface. I'll choose I'm using headphones, and now let's join the studio. Now you'll see something a little different. You have the option to invite someone to join remotely, meaning they are, have their own computer, they're far away, and they're going to join us over the internet. Or we can record together on this device. So let's say it's just you and one other person recording in the same room. Let's add and set up. And now you see we have some powerful options here under the People tab in the studio. For microphone, for both me and the other in-person guest, which I can name, we'll just call them in-person guest for now, I can choose both their microphone and the input on the audio interface that pertains to them. So I've chosen the Vocaster 2 audio interface. That's what's connected to my computer. And then I can choose Mic Input 1 or 2. I'll choose Mic Input 1. That was the host mic I connected earlier. And then for the in-person guest, we can choose input two. Now there's still only one video source, so I would recommend setting up a wide shot, maybe even using your iPhone as a camera and continuity camera. This way, both of you can be in the frame at the same time. Now we'll go into adding a remote guest in addition to this in a moment, but let's actually start a recording with the two in-person microphones and our audio interface. Right now I'm talking into the host microphone. You can see those audio levels going up and down. And we'll check the recording and the transcript to make sure it's picking up the right person. Now I'll switch to the guest microphone. And this is the guest microphone. You can see it sounds a little different because that is channel two or mic input two. And I'm going to have separate tracks, high quality, still locally recorded and uploaded to Riverside dashboard, but a separate track for mic input one and mic input two. Again, this allows you to record high quality, multi-track in-person podcasts with Riverside in your audio interface. At the moment, we support two microphone inputs, so a two-channel audio interface like the Vocaster 2 or Scarlett 2i2 is ideal. I'll hit I'm done recording, and then we'll take a look at those separate tracks that we recorded. Now, going into our Riverside project, we'll see here the first recording where it was two in-person guests and the one camera angle. You'll see we can download the individual audio files for both Mic Input 1 and Mic Input 2, the in-person guest. Now back here in the studio, let's set up for a hybrid recording, meaning it's me and a co-host or guest in person, and we're gonna add another remote guest. To do that, go to the People tab again on the right-hand side, scroll down, and here you can remove that other in-person guest, or let's add a participant. And here, you can see in-person guest is grayed out because only two microphones are supported at the moment, but you can click Remote Guest, share that guest link like you normally would when you record with Riverside, and then that remote guest can join you here in the studio. Now we have a remote guest has joined us. That's them here in the studio. And in the people sidebar, you'll see myself as the host. We have the remote guest joining on the internet. And then that in-person guest using Mic Input 2 with that same audio interface. Now we can hit record. And now in this hybrid recording situation, we'll get one video track for our in-person guests, but separate audio. So Mic Input 1 myself will be recorded in its own track. My other in-person guest with Mic Input 2 will get a second separate audio track, and our remote guest will have both a separate video and audio track using their setup, and Riverside is going to put it all together in the editor, and you can download those separate audio tracks or use AI like filler word removal, remove silences, and smart mute to edit all together in Riverside. So let's stop this recording, and let's take a look at what that hybrid recording looks like in the editor. You'll see the transcript is separated out both by host and Mic Input 2 or the other in-person guest that you can name. And that means you can apply different effects or adjust the volume level for those individual tracks. I can go in and manually adjust the volume, apply EQ, or apply all the AI tools available to you in Riverside, like remove pauses, remove filler words. And an important feature for the in-person part of your recording is Smart Mute. That will mute someone's track when they're not speaking, 
which will help cut down on the echo when you record with someone else in the same room. You can always fine tune that muting of separate tracks by opening the separate tracks here. And don't forget, you can now use the co-creator here in the editor, whether you want to generate some social media posts, use AI tools like to add B-roll footage right here in Riverside, or just ask co-creator to make this ready to share, and it will apply your brand, captions, apply the smart layouts, and a ton more. Then when you're ready to export, you can export up to 4K quality, ready to share. And for that hybrid recording with two in-person and one remote guest, you'll see them all here in the Riverside editor. You can still apply all the AI tools like remove pauses, remove filler words, and apply the brand for your podcast. And this means you can now record in-person content or hybrid with an audio interface, multiple in-person microphones, and still use all the powerful editing tools and AI co-creator features in the Riverside editor. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that like button. Lots of even more features coming very soon. And if you'd like to learn more about CoCreator, check out my video on that right up here. Or if you now want to build out your setup, maybe some audio interfaces and higher quality microphones, I did an entire video about podcast setups for one up to four people in person and with audio interface suggestions. Check out that video right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.